Hey everybody, welcome back to the series where I beat the entire game with just my one friend Sylveon. Today we're gonna tackle the LE4, but before we do that, I have to show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> Boop. Okay, look at this shit. So, I went out and got myself- I have to take off my headphones. I went out and got myself a Sylveon cosplay <laughs> for this episode. My hair is too much- too much hair. Where are the- where's the face? There's the face? <laughs> I was like, excuse me? So yeah, you know, this is my Sylveon cosplay, there's- Boop! <laughs> so I'm gonna be wearing this for today's episode. It's got the little bow tie, it's got- <laughs> Oh, 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 nope. Anyways, I can't see. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this. <laughs> this is such a dumb idea, but let's go for it. Off to the Pokemon League with Nemo. Oh, is this a steak? Hey, we found another one of these stakes and a TM, which is Heat Wave. User attacks by exhaling hot breath. Probably can't learn that one, but we'll see. Ooh, and a quick ball. Okay, let's take out this stake though. Boop, okay. Another stake gone. Another one. And another one bites the dust. <laughs> a fighting Terra Shard. Oh, it looks like we're here. We're making our way on top. This is probably where, like, the final battle is, like, all the way up here. It looks kind of like you're gonna, like, rise up through the levels. Like, you'll start here, and then this thing will rise up through the ceiling. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon Coliseum, actually, because of that, like... I feel like, yeah, at the end of Pokemon Coliseum, you rise up through the ceiling to beat the final boss, right? Oh, well, okay, we're entering a cutscene. Are we ready? I guess so. Probably not, but whatever, we'll go for it. It's Rika. The one with the cool green hair. We gotta do an interview. We may automatically fail the interview depending on our answers. What the heck? How did I get here today? I wrote on my Pokemon, I guess. Tell me the name of the school I'm enrolled in. I don't know what it is. I think it's UVA though. What brings me to the Pokemon League? Um, just for fun, I guess. Probably shouldn't say that, but let's do it. That concludes the interview. Oh no. Well, we know we answered wrong on the last question. We didn't pass the interview. Oh no. <laughs> we became to become a champion. Oh my God. So they just cut the interview short if you don't get them right. So there's even more questions. They don't even let you finish. I want to find treasure. That's why I'm going to become the champion. No, I'll just say we come stronger because we'll just give them the answers they want. Which of the eight gyms gave me the most difficulty? I have no idea. We're going to go with the Montevnevera gym, because I think that that's the one that was in the sky? Oh no. Well, if I'm right that it's the one that was in the sky, and what I mean by the sky, I mean the mountain, and it was the one that required me to have two Pokemon, which is why it was the hard one, then it would be Rhyme. So we're just gonna hope that that's what it is. It was the ghost gym. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Well, you see, it was the grass cat Pokemon. Unfortunately, we don't get the choice of Sylveon. <laughs> Interesting. They say if and when you become a champion, they're predicting that you will. I guess that's because you have infinite tries probably. Do I like Pokemon? Of course I like Pokemon. Cool, we passed. <laughs> I don't know why you bungled it before. It's because you don't let me have fun. I just want to have fun, okay? <laughs> okay, time to go up against the LE4. I guess our first opponent is Rika. Okay, so we are under leveled. So I have a feeling we're not going to be succeeding today. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and do... I guess we'll start off with the... Oh, but if we do a fake tears and we miss it, we'll just go straight for the Drain Kisses and see what happens. Okay, an Earth Power does a crit on 60. So that means that we're actually good to use a fake tears here. Okay, we just avoided a Muddy Water, which is really good because that can reduce your accuracy. And if we get reduced accuracy, we're just dead. Okay, so let's use a Moonblast now. Try to take him out in one hit. Don't crit. Okay, good. And the reason why we're going to take him out so fast is because now that I know we can lower our accuracy, it's just really bad to have him around. So goodbye, Wishcash. Otherwise, I would have tried to regain my HP by using Drain Kisses. Oh, level 55. Last resort. What's that? This move can only be used after the user has used all other moves it knows in the battle. Does that mean that we're out of PP for everything else? Or does it mean, or that just that we've used all of, of the three other moves? Either way, we're gonna go ahead and replace Terra Blast with it. 
because it seems like a pretty good move. Because we're already going to be using Fake Tears on everything, and then Draining Kiss and Moonblast are, you know, we can definitely use each of those. Oh god, they're putting us to sleep. That's not good. We're going to, I guess, mm, we're going to hit him with a Moonblast and try to take him out. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but being put to sleep is pretty bad. Fire Blast, probably going to do like 60. 40, that's not so bad. But we are asleep. Let's see if we have Awakening. We do, we have six Awakenings. Okay, we're just gonna use it. No reason to save him. This is the final challenge after all. Okay, let's go for the Draining Kiss now. And, okay, so we used the other, all three moves so far. So now let's see if we can use Last Resort or not. Oh, they used Yawn again, that's so annoying. Honestly, using Last Resort right now is such a waste though because they have no HP and it's our strongest move and we only get five of them. Finish them off with Moonblast, yeah. I don't know what else we can do really. And then we're just gonna have to hope that we can survive the next Pokemon because we're gonna be asleep. So it's quite the problem. Okay, we need to take tank one hit from the Donphin. I think that the Donphin is Steel type, in which case we're kind of screwed here, but we'll see. Okay, we're waking up. Because isn't the Donphin like the same thing as like that Titan Pokemon? Yeah, Iron Head. Okay, we survive. That's all we need is just to survive. We also need to get off a hit though. We're gonna go ahead and heal up to full. See if they will use a different move or if they're just gonna use Iron Head over and over again. Poison Jab. Huh, that's even worse because now we're poisoned as well. Great. Oh my God, and that was like 20 points of damage from poisoning. Okay, we're using a full restore. They used another poison jab. Do we get poisoned again? We don't, and I accidentally used Moonblast, so that's GG's right there, because we were not supposed to do that. We are supposed to use, ugh, the other move. Okay, well, the only hope we have is if they have some third move, but they don't, Iron Head. GG's, GG's. So we're back on Donphin, and the plan is to, we're gonna use Fake Tears. Okay, they avoided the attack. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, let's go ahead and do a couple battles just to level up just a little bit. Come here, Garjomp. I want to battle you. Okay, that's one level. Okay, one more level. A cracked pot. We're gonna farm these Flamigos. Level 58. That Flamigo thinks it can escape me. And another level. Um, okay, we're level 60 now. Yay, just barely, okay. An electric Terra Shard and level 62. Oh, a new TM. Charm. Oh, I think I just found another stake. That's two in one episode. Oh, solar beam. Oh my God, I just leveled up to the, th I didn't realize I was so close. I'm just grinding so many Pokemon. A dive ball. Oh, level 64. The Tatsugiris go down in one hit. It's quite nice and we're about to level up. 65. Oh look, it's one of these tiny guys. I wonder how much XP they give. Can I even attack it? Oh, okay. Level 66 and 67 and level 68. A life orb. I wonder what a shiny Tatsugiri looks like because like, they all look different. Anyways, level 69. That's all we were going for is level 69. Let's go buy keep the LE4 now. Okay, now that I'm level 69, this should be a breeze. I put my Sylveon costume back on. I had to take it off for the grinding because, you know, we, we, it, was, it wasn't right. We were just grinding levels. And also I was overheating. Okay, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with using an X defense so that the steel Pokemon can't hurt us as bad. Okay, do we survive one hit? Oh. Easy. Also, they didn't even use a steel type move, so. Because I don't think that was steel type, otherwise, it would have been super effective. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> that feels silly, though, that we didn't even have to. Like, the X defense was useless. I just had to get lucky. Ugh. <laughs> Whatever. A Doug Trio. Hmm. Let's go ahead and use a Moonblast. Oh, that was a one hit KO. Oh yeah, I'm also level 69 now. I forgot about that. That's gonna help a lot. But either way, that's the first of the gym of the LE4 done. Wait, no, it's not. They have a fifth Pokemon. Clodsire. Is this like a ground type LE4 member? That's what it seems like. Hmm. 
Let's go for the fake tears, because nothing's very effective against Claude Sire, I guess. Oh, they're gonna terrestrialize, that's right. That's a pretty cool hat. I like it. Not a toxic, we're gonna get poisoned. Damn it. I think it's like badly poisoned too, yeah. Oh, but now that they're terrestrialized, this says effective instead of not effective. Interesting. Well, let's try to just Moonblast pa pass. Oh, well, they used to protect. Let's see what happens now, though. Nope, oh, there are two hit. Okay, so we have 49 HP left. So I think that we have to hope that we don't... Let's go for the last resort. Why not? Oh, they used protect. I think that's it. I think we're done because I think the poison's gonna actually kill us this time. The Sandstorm subsided, though, so that's gonna give us a little bit more hope. Nope. GG's. Okay, let's see how much this last resort does the claw tire. It's almost dead. Great, we're badly poisoning it, but I think we'll be fine this time. This time through, I just attacked. I didn't even bother with like strat. I just like, just kept attacking. I was like, we're probably over leveled enough for this to be fine. Okay, that's the first LE4 member done. Wow, they gave us 12 grand in prize money. That's so much. Oh, now we get to go against the little kitty kid. The kiddo. So we'll use an antidote, a super potion to heal all the way up. Then we'll use an elixir. And now we're ready to face Poppy. What kind of Pokemon does this person have? The first one had like ground type Pokemon. This guy's got Raja, swish him. Huh, I don't know what kind of Pokemon it is yet. We'll start off with a fake tears, sure. Heavy slam. Okay, that's a one hit KO. Huh, given the fact that they just one hit KO'd us, we're going to start off with an X defense. Okay, they use the same move, do we survive? We do survive, um, 112, that's a little over half. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use another one. Okay, so we've got two, or we've got four extra points of, okay, so they could, they still are doing a lot of damage to us, but we're going to use a max potion and we'll see if they use another heavy slam, they do. Okay, so that time we took, we took like 90 damage. So we're gonna go ahead and use a draining kiss and see how much a draining kiss does. Okay, that's not very good. It does like nothing. Okay, so that did another 90 damage. The thing is that we we can survive this and I think we will survive this because we're since it takes them more than two hits to, to attack us, we can keep cycling potions basically. Or it takes them two hits, three hits to kill us. So we get to potion, attack, potion, attack. This time though, we're gonna use a fake tears. And they've got to run out of PP for that move eventually, right? Okay, now we're going to go in with the Moonblast. Okay, that's that's a lot better. So we could go in for the kill now. Yeah, I guess we might as well go in for the kill now. We'll use a Draining Kiss, take a little bit of HP from them. Oh, a Magnezone. We fought one of these earlier. Let's heal up. The draining Kiss. That does not do enough after one fake tier. That's not very good. Do we survive? That is the question at this point, is do we survive a hit? Flash cannon, that's the that's the heavy hitter. Okay, we survive though. As long as they don't crit, I think we're good. Let's go for a last resort and see how much that does. Okay, it does a little bit more, but not enough more. Since all of these moves are super effective against me, I kind of feel like this might be the hardest of the Elite Four members, but I'm not sure. We're gonna go ahead and use one more fake tears. And now we're gonna go ahead and go for the draining kiss. And now we're good to go ahead and go in for the kill. So we'll use, we'll just use a moon blast, I guess. Yeah, cause we don't have enough HP or they don't have enough HP to warrant a draining kiss. Okay, what's their third Pokemon gonna be? Oh, we're level 70, that's nice. A Bronzong, I think that's a steel type Pokemon. So this is just going from bad to worse. <laughs> Heal up, see how much damage that this Bronzong's gonna do to us. Okay, Iron Head. Okay, okay, we're good to go. Okay, Iron Head, I think that's the thing that used to just like take us out, but I guess that since we have the two X defenses on us, we're like able to hit it better because it's pure physical, I don't know. Either way, this is great. I'm glad that we're not dying. Let's use a Draining Kiss and see how it goes half their health that's pretty good another draining kiss and now we have the corvanite oh that also looks like a steel type huh oh no 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and just hope for the best with the fake tears. They're using Iron Head. Yeah, I was gonna say Iron Head. I don't, I think, is, is that the same move that the last guy was using? Either way, we're good to go. Uh, well, I used a Draining Kiss. I maybe should have... No, that did enough. That did enough. Well, let's go in for a last resort and see how that does against this guy. Okay, not very good. <laughs> One last Draining Kiss. And goodbye, Corviknight. Okay, who's up next? Is next the last one? Tinkaton, and it is the last one. Huh. What are you? Yo, I'm out of Draining Kisses? What happened? Whatever. I guess we're just gonna tank this person. Start with the fake tears. Steel hard Pokemon always get a solid victory. Oh, I think that means that they're a steel type Pokemon. Which probably means that this is gonna be a one hit KO. It's not. We're good. Okay. Amazing. Only problem is that we're out of. Huh, we're out of the. We're out of draining kisses, which could be a problem. We're gonna heal up and see if they have any other moves that do less damage than their Giga Hammer. Stone Edge. Okay, Stone Edge doesn't do much, so we're gonna heal whenever we have to. Let's start with a Moonblast, see how that goes. Yeah, so every time they use a Gigaton Hammer, we're gonna have to heal, basically. But the that does quite a bit. Oh, it was a, it was a crit, it was a crit. Okay, that's fine, though. We are not gonna risk them taking us out in a single hit, so we're gonna use a Hyper Potion. They use Stone Edge, which it crit, but it's fine because it leaves us with enough HP as a buffer. So let's go ahead and use a Moonblast. Yeah, just end it. Oh, they're using the Gigaton. No crit, no crit, no crit, no crit. Please, no crit. Okay, no crit, we're good. So that should be the end of the battle. And the second member of the LE4 is down. Oh, Poppy looks so sad. Oh well, there's another 12 grand from us. It's like <laughs> stealing money from a child. Oh no. I wanted to take revenge on you, Rika. Take revenge for me, Squirt. <laughs> oh well. Mr. Larry? Is this the everyday man, Larry? Didn't we? He's a gym bad battle, though. Oh no. Didn't he give us a lot of issues, too? I feel like I remember him giving me a lot of issues. Okay, time to heal up with the potions. Okay, Larry uses normal type at the gym since they have a lot in common, but the boss said to use a different type here. If you have complaints, take it up with La Primera. Okay, so I, that's a little worrying because you know, normal type's not that bad. We'll see what it is. I think that we just went against the steel type leader though. And I think the steel type leader should be the worst one. There's also fighting type. Fighting type actually might also be even worse than steel. But, oh, we can take down a Tropius. Tropius doesn't have anything on us. We're good. Flying type Pokemon. I, I feel like we're okay with flying types. I'm not positive, but I think we might be fine. We start off with the fake tears, of course. See what kind of damage they're gonna do to us. Sunny day. That's gonna raise the power of fire type moves, I believe. We'll just go in for the moon blast. Solar beam. Huh, that's a two part move, I think. Nope, it's a one part move. Okay, whatever though, it doesn't do too much to us. And we won hit KO. Wow. This is hopefully going to be an easy battle then. A Star Raptor. Hit him up with that fake tears. You know, you know the drill. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that did quite a bit. Since we go second, we're going to heal up. Huh. Huh. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I accidentally. I just love the fact that they used Larry again. Larry's my favorite. Should we just go straight in for the attack on Star Raptor? We, maybe we should. Let's go for the Draining Kiss, yeah. And we'll see how much it does. So Brave Bird shouldn't take us out. It does 110 and it does like 25% of their own health to them. Oh, that did quite a bit. Huh, okay, on this gym, I think that we don't use... On this LE4 member, I think that we shouldn't be using, what's it called? Uh, Fake tears. I think we should just be going for the drain, the the draining kisses. Okay, aren't you gonna SD with that? No, you don't SD. But unfortunately, this means I gain like no health back. Oh, great use of a crit there <laughs> on that like one HP. Yeah, I, I regen one HP. That's awful. Okay, but we got to level 71. Oh, and Altaria. I love Altarias. They're so pretty. The question is, will we survive a single hit? I'm going to assume that we're not going to. 
and I will be using a Hyper Potion. Oh, they know Moonblast. That's fun. I also know Moonblast, friend. Well, prepare to be Moonblasted. <laughs> the Battle of the Moonblasts, except mine one hit KO'd. <laughs> or Ricorio. Oh, what are you? Let's hit him with that last resort. See how that does. Not a one hit KO, sad. We'll go for the Draining Kiss, finish him off. No, his last Pokemon's a Flamigo. Not the Flamigo. We're gonna get decimated. The first Pokemon to ever beat me. This is gonna be so funny. Although I think that we, I think that we're gonna be fine. We're just gonna use a Draining Kiss, but it's, it's so funny. It'd be so funny if the Flamigo took us out. Unfortunately, have to wait a minute for this cutscene. <laughs> okay, so that did like a third. Oh, because after they terrestrialize, I don't even know what those balloons are. Oh, it's probably flying type. Yeah, the flying type terrestrialization, I guess. Okay, let's just go in for a last resort. Damn, that did not kill. I thought it might just finish him off with the moon blast. Okay, third member of the Elite Four, done. Oh, poor Larry. That took the wind from under our wings. Thank you for the 12 grand. You make quite a profit on the LE4. You're a lot stronger than I recall. Now then, I suppose the final member of the LE4 is next. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's Hassel. That's right. Hello, Hassel. Long time no see. I like the fact that all of the LE4 stays in the room in this in this one. You know, having like the different rooms and like progressing through the different rooms was always cute in the other games. Or mainly the first game. I don't know if I remembered the LE4 in any other games, but this is really cute having everyone like congregate together. Okay, let's see what Hassel uses. Young sprouts growing trees. Looks like it's gonna be a grass type. I think I shall forget my role as teacher for a moment and wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating me. Oh, the dragon guardian, not a grass type. I think dragon's like not effective against fairy. I'm not sure, but like the dragons that we were, that I was training on, like in that lake they did not hit me very hard so hopefully i'm fine i guess we'll start off with a draining kiss see how it goes super fang okay i take it back that does half of my health huh oh but i do over half of theirs huh this is gonna be interesting i healed all the way back up to full you know normally this would mean that i can just keep using draining kiss but the problem is that they're gonna do the half health to me and I'm gonna get nothing back because they have no HP left. So I guess that we're gonna go in for the Moon Blast. Then on the next Pokemon, we're gonna heal up. Dragalge. Whoa, that thing looks cool. Oh, not a Sludge Bomb. Please no poison. Shit. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We're going to attack once because they only did yeah, never mind. We're not gonna attack. Oh wait, actually no. We can use we can use a draining kiss. Yeah. So long as we go first, and we do go first. Okay, we only do a third of their health though, which is kind of bad. But we'll see how much we recover. Not enough. This ain't looking good. We're going to probably use a full restore after this move, depending on what they do. We we'll use another sludge bomb. Okay, we're hurt by the poison. It does 30. Yeah, we'll use a full restore here, and they use another sludge bomb, unfortunately. Are we gonna get poisoned again? Yes, we are. But we can rinse and repeat. We're going to use, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to use another draining kiss, I think. And we can do this three times in a row. We have we have enough um, full restores to do this three times in a row, so that's fine. We could also technically just hit them and assume they're gonna die. Let's do it. Let's go for the for the. As long as they do pass, yeah, they do pass away. So that means that we'll go up to 99, we'll survive the poison damage, and then we can full restore on the, at the start of the next Pokemon. Oh, level 72, Haxorus. Now we come in with the last full restore, hopefully, for this battle. Hopefully this, this, this doodad, the Haxazor, doesn't come out of nowhere with even more poison. Iron Head. You know, that would be good if we had prepped with an appropriate move namely if we use the x defense but we did not use the x defense so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to heal up and then hope that they use other moves as well so we can use an x defense in the middle when they're attacking okay they use iron head again 
So we're going to heal up again. Iron head again. This ain't looking good. Well, they're going to murder us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in for the moon blast and actually, no, we'll do the draining kiss and we'll just see what happens. They go first. So yeah, they, they kill us. The only problem with using the X defense right here is that like their attack does half of my health. Yeah. And so at this point, and yeah, I was hoping the X-Defense maybe would change that, but it doesn't. Huh. I think that we just, did we go? I think we went first against this person. We didn't. Okay, so this, oh, that time it only did 60. Why did it only do 60? Eh, I'm not gonna complain. It only did 60. Here's the Haxorus. Hopefully the one, yeah, maybe I should have used two X-Defenses. Hopefully the one will do the trick. For now, let's use a full restore and get rid of this poison. Okay, yeah, the one will do the trick for sure. Let's go ahead and use a fake tears. We're still gonna have to heal up uh, in between moves, but that's okay. Okay, let's go for a moon blast. And the moon blast is a one hit KO, so I wonder if I could have just done that the whole time and been fine. Well, no, because last battle, like we, we, we go second, so there's no way that we could survive. Yeah, but now we got a flapple. And of course, we're gonna heal up because that's what I do every time. Okay, Seed Bomb doesn't do very much. Let's hit him with that last resort, see what this does. One hit KO. I was hoping it might be a one hit KO because it's it's very powerful. It's gotta hit one hit KO something, right? The last resort move. Only a little more till you pass. Don't let up. You can't vote for me, Hassel. You gotta vote for yourself. Excalibur. Is this your last Pokemon? It is their last Pokemon. It's a level 61. And I think that we can just hit him with a... Let's hit him with that... That. Let's hit him with that last resort. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, the dragon hat's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. But I've got the Sylveon hat. Look at my... I'm a terrestrialized Sylveon. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be GG's because they don't got nothing on me. It's a one hit KO, that's so funny. <laughs> the final boss was a one hit KO, let's go. <sighs> How silly, okay, well that's good. Okay, so that's the only four done, we did it. One Pokemon, let's go. Took a few resets, but that's okay. The mighty dragon has been felled. Yes, yes, yes he has. Wow, it only took me seven minutes to get through that fight. That's pretty good. You really did it, oh wow. Okay, no, I didn't. There's still a Primera. Wonderful. I'm just so proud of you. This person... Is that an accent? Don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. Want a hug? Aww. The old man can get like that sometimes. Rika's definitely... Actually, no. Larry's my favorite. Rika's my second favorite. Your result for the Elite Four Champion Assessment is... A pass. No doubt about it. How nice. You're tougher than steel. You did beautifully. <laughs> See the door back there? The final opponent is waiting just beyond it. Her skills are remaining. She was able to strong arm us all into joining the LE4. You won't find a might of your champion. Is it gonna be Nemo? It's probably gonna be Nemo and then La Primera is the final boss. Or the other way around, I don't know. I'll patch up your team on the house. Damn, thanks bro. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire? What? <laughs> so I guess my Cubone's all healed up, so that's good. Can we talk to these people? Good luck, says Larry. All right, Sadness, show us the fight of the century. Good luck. Thanks. Your final opponent is terribly strong, but then so are you. Banish your fear with a calm mind. You will surely see the path of triumph. The question is, should I preemptively... The question is, should I preemptively go ahead and teach um, the fire move, the sunny day, to Sylveon just so that... Oh wait, I can walk through this. I thought this was a barrier, but that's just part of the floor. That's silly me. Okay, I'm gonna not teach sunny day on the first attempt. I'll teach it if we lose the first attempt. The final test of the champion assessment. Let's do this. We're on the roof. Oh, it is La Primera. I guess that it makes sense that La Primera would be the first final boss and then the other person, Nemo, is the second final boss. Oh, we've got a bird. Doesn't Nemo use this bird? I don't remember. 
But I've definitely gone against that bird before. Let's just Moonblast it. Lumina Crash does nothing. That's good. Almost a one hit, but not quite. Finish him off with the Moonblast. Why not? They do the same thing. That's nice. King Gambit? What are you? Supreme Overlord. Gain strength from the fallen. Interesting. Well, can you survive a draining kiss? The fact that we're outspeeding these Pokemon is just amazing. It makes everything so much easier. Oh, it's an iron head. Shit. That's GG's. Okay, let's see if they use anything other than iron head. We were left with 40 HP at the end. So, so long as they do have another attack and it does less than 40. Huh, this ain't looking so hot. You know, I'm just gonna reset now and just since the first Pokemon's weak, just yeah, there's no point in like attempting this really. Okay, time to take advantage of this turkey and use, I think we're gonna use two X defenses because the, the next Pokemon just was obliterating us completely. She's uh, clapping for me because I one hit KO'd the turkey, but also the turkey was about to one hit KO me. <laughs> I think it gets stronger with each attack. I don't know, it just, it was doing real good. Okay, here's the part where we need to hope that the King Gambit is no longer completely destroying me, cause yeah. Well, we're just gonna hope for it and we're gonna use our Drain Kiss. We heal up to almost full with that. Oh, all the way full. So even if this is, like, we will survive this no matter what. Okay, it's only doing 70, so we're good to go now. Let's hit him up with the Moon Blast now. Maybe end it off, we'll see. Yep, nice. And level 73. Avalog. Oh, we one hit KO'd this thing in the water before, right? So it's possible we could just use a Moon Blast. Um, but that would be gambling that we outspeed it. So let's do it, why not? We do outspeed it. Let's see if it's still good enough. Yep, it one hit KOs. I'm glad that I remembered that experience or that rather we used it to farm. Go goat, is it gonna be a goat? It is a goat. I know nothing about this goat. So let's go ahead and heal up, yeah. Horn leech, okay, that does nothing. Let's hit him up with the fake tears and we'll take him out with that moon blast. Dun 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 dun! One KO. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, 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 gadget. And we healed all the way up to full with that shell bell. Shell time, sometimes the shell bell is just like overpowered and like just heals you all the way up. I don't understand how it works. I hate Veluzas. They're not like strong. They're just annoying. <laughs> Let's let's use that last resort. Let's use last resort and see what happens. Almost a one hit KO. They use liquidation. We should be, oh, they crit us. Well, that's annoying, but we're still good. We outspeed them though, so we can just hit them up right now. Yeah, we'll just use a draining kiss. Goodbye, Veluza. Yeah, when I was farming for experience, the Veluza just kept coming out of nowhere and just like attacking me. Meanwhile, they only gave like 2000 experience points, so they were a waste of time. So I just ran away every time. Okay, this is probably the last Pokemon. Glamora. What do you say? We just hit it with a with the last resort, see what happens. Fuck around and find out. Um, we should probably do a draining kiss. I wonder what type this is gonna terrestrialize into because we like have seen like all of the LE4 had like unique terrestrialization types. So will this one? Like what is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> is is that fighting type? I don't I don't know. Sludge wave. Huh. Well, we're dead. Okay. Okay, so what happened last time and why we lost is um so the Espartha was using a move that like would lower our special defense. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to use a guard spec so that when it's hitting us cuz we're just going to let it keep attacking us while we use X defenses. And while I was doing it the last time, it was lowering our special defense with Lumina Crash. And so this is gonna prevent it from lowering our special defense. And that's also why I was doing so much damage, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, the guard spec's good to go. We're gonna use a couple X defenses again. And then I'll use maybe a couple other buffs and I'll see you in the final battle. Okay, we're back. Honestly, let's just hit him up with the Moon Blast and see what happens. I don't exactly remember what happened last time, not gonna lie. <laughs> Did we die in one hit? 
Is that what happened? Well, either way, I used an X speed, so... Oh, okay. We want to hit KO'd. Honestly, I used an X speed and an X special attack. And I just obliterated the whole team. It kind of felt like cheating. This is, it was kind of anticlimactic. That was awful. Whatever. This is why I don't use items usually. <laughs> They're not very fun. But, you know, I ha when it comes to steel types, it kind of feels like my only choice. Such overwhelming power, such amazing skill. It seems Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. It's my honor to call me champion. Ha ha ha. Hi, Rika. Wow. Look at them. The whole group's here. That's a good thumbnail shot. That's <laughs> okay, time to battle Nemo, maybe? She said there's a familiar face waiting for me. Do I get a battle? Do I get one more? Honestly, I'm ready to go to bed. It's 11.20. But I bet you that there's one last battle. I did become a champion. I wanted to say no. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, I don't wanna be. Couldn't hear you, I'll say it again, let's you and me be best rivals for life. No. <laughs> Until I hear, <laughs> no. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Am I gonna have to reset my game? I don't wanna reset my game, but I'm gonna keep saying no. <laughs> no. 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 I think it's just gonna loop like this forever. Okay, I'll give it another like five tries. It doesn't let you, we're gonna say yes. <laughs> oh, okay, it's time for the final battle. Do you see that? Arrest is in order for me and Sylveon, but I am the Sylveon. Let's go. <laughs> Somewhere special? I want to say the treasure eatery, but I don't remember what that is. So I'm going to say the one that I do remember, which is out behind your house. Because it was the beach. It was where we had the first battle. So I think that's that's uh, my favorite. Oh, she doesn't like it. Let's do the treasure eatery then. Is it significant to the two of you? It's because... Uh, <laughs> Are you thinking of it because it's got the Medali Gym's battle court? I guess it does bring back memories of Larry. I do love Larry. Larry may not appreciate the surprise visit though. Sad. Okay, I guess it's Mesagosa. Remember when Director Clavel explained the treasure hunt? He told us to go in search of our own treasure. Well, I know what treasure I got out of all this. I found a true rival, someone who can stand up to me at my full capabilities. That being said, I'll be waiting for you at the battle court in Megasosa Central Plaza. See you there. Oh, okay, so then we don't need to do that. So we beat the LA4 with just the one Sylveon. That's amazing. We are done with the one Pokemon challenge, technically. So our last objective is gonna be to battle Nimona in the Path of Legends, but that's for another day. For today, let's go get a nice view. Okay, well, we did it. So next time, I guess we're gonna go ahead. I don't know what we're gonna do, but either way, thank you so much for watching the series. This is the like big kabang. That's why I got on my Sylveon cosplay for it and everything, which is uh, truly abysmal. The bow tie does not work. Let me tell you, this thing is the floppiest, flimsiest bow tie in the world. <laughs> Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. I am so tired. That took forever. Oh my God.